Welcome friends and happy Thanksgiving. It's a time of festivities, it's a time of family, and it's a time to reflect on how you're feeling in the grateful department, in the sense of gratitude. So for those of you who are not quite feeling it, who are feeling like you've had um, an extra burden of hardships this year in your life, I say our thoughts and prayers are with you and we can understand what you're feeling, what you're going through to the best that anybody can understand what someone else is feeling and going through. And just know that we are here for you should you need to reach out for any reason, for anything. And what we know is that we attract like unto like in our lives. So it's important that we are experiencing some sense of gratitude and thankfulness for our life. And so if you are not quite feeling it, I invite you to begin where you are. That's a saying we use quite often in Science of Mind whenever anyone is talking about um, any kind of lack, limitation, or fear. That for each one of us, we must simply just begin where we are. You don't go from zero to 100 in a second. It takes time to build into that energy of anything that we're looking to create a habit in that sustains our life. So begin where you are and find something to be grateful for, some little kindness, maybe even just the weather. Maybe it's a beautiful day on the day that you happen to be watching this video. Maybe someone just said something nice or kind to you or did something for you. And remember that we are responsible for our own lives so we can reach out if we're feeling lonely or alone or as if we don't have family or friends to celebrate with, we can reach out and make that happen for ourselves if we so desire. So Reverend, Jesse, Reverend Dr. Jesse Jennings wrote, Gratitude is a worthwhile state of mind and heart for the reason that each of us tends to draw organically into our lives people and situations that resonate with the contents of our consciousness. Let that soak in for just a moment and I'm going to share it again. Gratitude is a worthwhile state of mind and heart for the reason that each of us tends to draw organically into our lives people and situations that resonate with the contents of our consciousness. A consciousness of gratitude is going to attract more opportunities to be grateful, more opportunities to sit in the seat of thanksgiving. And so I would like to take a moment to share gratitude that I have for each one of you that is a member that is sharing, even through these times when we are not together, you are sharing financially and you are who is sustaining this center and keeping it open and supporting this teaching in the world, this teaching of love and goodness, of principles, of oneness and freedom, peace, harmony, balance. So thank you. I give thanks for you each and every day. And likewise, there are some of you that are friends of the center that have been supporting, and I would like to thank you also. And we are so excited to find the opportunity to be able to get back. And that can mean two things. And I'm grateful for whichever way it goes. One, we could find the means to step into a new space that is large enough to contain all of us. I like that idea. I like that idea too. Or two, we could um, be healthy enough and, and 
not be healthy enough, we're healthy enough. We could have a, a society that is healthy enough so that we feel that it is, we are able to open the center back up. It is a small space. And on that note, rather than go down the rabbit hole, what I'm going to say is that I am ever so grateful for this decision that we have made collectively as a board to um, close the center because each and every one of our members has continued to stay healthy through this time. And I am eternally grateful for that. And so I have much to be grateful for. And imagine how grateful we will be when we actually all get back together again and get to do all those hugs again. Yes. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to go back to what uh, Dr. Jennings said. He says that we draw organically into our lives people in situations that resonate with the contents of our consciousness. We talk about that a lot in Science of Mind. Uh, we hold thoughts and we, when we draw into our lives circumstances and conditions according to the thoughts and the ideas that we hold. And um, gratitude is one of those examples. As we hold ideas of gratitude, we bring more things in to be uh, grateful for. It also works the other way around. That if we hold consciousness of poverty or sickness or illness or whatever, we are have, we open a space for all that stuff to tumble into us as, as just as easily as gratitude can. There's a great philosopher by the name of Doris Day. Remember that <laughs> name? She says, "Gratitude is riches, complaint is poverty," and we pull in both of those equally according to our mindset of what we open up and and uh, allow ourselves, open ourselves up to the possibilities of those things flowing into us. Aesop says gratitude turns what we have into enough. And so just a little show of gratitude conditions our thinking and allows that which we have to be abundant. And then it also allows more abundance to flow because we have opened ourselves up to that possibility and created the space for it to flow into. And so therefore holding thoughts of gratitude really opens us to receiving things for which we will be grateful for. You are great. Gratitude doesn't change the scenery. It merely washes clean the glass you look through so you can clearly see all the colors of life around you. And that's a beautiful saying by Richelle Goodrich. It's, uh, it's the idea that um, things around you don't really change because you're grateful for them, but it certainly changes your heart, and it changes the way you see life, and it changes the way life uh, uh, out pictures around you. Oprah Winfrey says, be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never ever have enough. That is so true. So the, uh, the uh, consciousness of gratitude is so valuable to us if we want to achieve higher and higher good coming into our lives and more things to be grateful for. And the, once again, the opposite of that is going to do the same. So I would choose to be grateful. I think you do choose that. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, so I'd like to, as we conclude um, today, I'd like to go back to um, Dr. Jennings' quote and just look at the part that gratitude is a worthwhile state of mind and heart. Let's look at, at how it affects both. Our heart, a grateful heart, relates to the feelings that we have about feeling grateful and about the things and people that we attract to ourselves because we are so grateful for it. We end up having more, as the song goes and Doris Day mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and along with that is the mind. Our mind, our thoughts lead the way and the feeling creates the color the color that Rochelle Goodrich was talking about. So when we work in balance between the mind and the heart to express our gratitude, to think about our gratefulness, we end up having more. And so we hope for you, we know for you, we desire for you a happy, healthy, Thanksgiving 2020 with your family and your friends, or if you choose, in solitude, in gratitude, in nature, 
wherever and whatever you choose to do, feel the gratitude.